to go. Dragons. This is going to be a very productive year for the dragons. Very happy for the dragons. Very fortunate. You've got a lot of creative energy that is possible for you. So if you are in the position to do anything as far as writing a book or that, just bring out that artisticness in you. This is a really good use of how to use the energy of the dragon this year. So the, the, and, and it can come in many forms. It, you know, it, if you're a dragon and you're a chef, you can make beautiful food. Not only healthy food, you can make beautiful food. Um, if you're a, a, a wardrobe consultant, you can put together the most dynamic and beautiful outfits for people. So there's many, many ways. It doesn't have to be in written form. Just let that creative flow happen and you will be rewarded for it. That's the nice thing about it. You will actually get paid for it. And, you know, it, it, it could be such a nice breakthrough if it's something that's really pa you're really passionate about that y it, it could have legendary results from it or you can create a legacy from what you create this year. So to me, th I don't have a dragon in my chart, but to me, that's something that I will at some point in my life, be able to turn over to another up and coming feng shui consultant that my legacy hopefully will live on. And, that, and that's the kind of year a dragon can have. Hallelujah, right? So let's see. Opportunities to learn a new skill set. Remember, fire is technologies and things like that. So if you need to sharpen up that, that would be something you might want to leap into. But this skill set can actually help you leaps and bounds in front of your competition. So really sharpen up your skills. You have a good opportunity to do that. It's not a year to think about it. What does Nike say? Just do it. Okay, let's see. Your, your creativeness is something that is going to be very... Uh, prolific this year, but somehow when you start speaking, something goes awry. <laughs> so you may want to watch your, the way that you speak with, with people because it may land a little bit um, wonky, if you will, for people. So just kind of watch your communication skills. Uh, that would be a good thing to do um, this year. Wealth-wise, your, your hard work is going to pay off in some form of a bonus or pay increase. If you don't see it, ask for it. And then, um, you know, again, this is a good time. I think the rats were the other one that had this energy for them that if you own your own company, you might be able to raise your rates a little bit if that's applicable for your industry. Um, overall, communication is something that the dragons need to work on the most. Uh, if you're in the workplace, you know, you're going to make your, bo your boss and coworkers happy. And then if you own your own uh, company, then definitely just check your ego at the door on that one. Great, great, great opportunities for dragons um, for relationship. Uh, the only thing I would say is communication on that too. Don't, don't assume anything on this one. Okay, I need a sip of tea before I go into the health piece. I got my good throat coat going on here. Veronica, these flowers are just gorgeous. Love roses too. Okay, there's four animals in the zodiac, and the dragon really fits this one this year. Uh, and they're all the earth animals. So if you have a dragon, a dog, an ox, or a goat in your chart, you have a tendency to have stomach-related digestive issues. So... Um, we know that, you know, eating a good, healthy diet is something that can absolutely be helped and benefited by you um, watching, you know, what, what you eat. So I've been working with my nutritionist, Willie Victor, for several years because I have one of those animals in my chart. And so it really is a huge help to, to really think about some very good practices. There's numbers of ways that you can get that working for you, but 
the dragons especially this year, I need you to watch your tummy and digestive system because it is going to get a little bit of a knock. Um, there's sort of some good news in this though. From the five elements group, if it is a weight issue, not necessarily a health issue because losing weight does not necessarily make you healthy, right? Okay, let's be clear about that. So the, but if weight is something that is, the, is an issue that you also wanna take off some weight, the metal in the monkey is actually gonna help drain, because that's in the five element cycle, Earth gives itself to, to metal. And so it's a metal year. So if you are a dragon and weight is the issue, that might help you take off. But that's not necessarily making you healthy. So if you're, you're also looking for a healthy alternative, you might want to work with a nutritionist or, you know, just, just have a little, it might give you a little bit more willpower there. Okay. So um, that's something that you may want to think about as well.